Hi, Melissa Litchfield here with Litchfield Media. I am a digital advertising specialist, specifically with Facebook and Instagram ads. And today I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes of Kartra and how to start or start building your first email sequence, um, AKA it's also known as an automation in the Kartra world. So Kartra is my personal favorite choice of an all-in-one business platform. And today I'm working on some emails for a challenge that I have coming up February 3rd. So I think this will be interesting to see because it's based off of the certain date that certain emails are being sent. Okay, so um, if you do go into, so let's just hit done and exit so you can kind of see where I started from. But basically, if you wanted to start from scratch, all you'd have to go to is to My Communications, hover over Sequences, then you'll see um, this page here. Obviously, I have a lot of sequences. <laughs> but you can start from scratch and you can create a new sequence here. It's going to ask you to name it, all the things. But we're going to go into the content challenge that I have coming up in February. We're going to edit this particular sequence. So I also have a form that's um, basically how this particular sequence is being triggered. So a form is on a page and that is actually the starting rule that I have for this particular sequence. So if you go to the little plus sign, you can go to the opt-in form, you can select a particular opt-in and just scroll down until you see the form. So that's one thing that you'll have to do first. You don't necessarily have to do the opt-in form first and build that. You could also you could always come back to this step and add in the starting rule later. Um, so you'd add that, click add, and then it would basically have this little tag. It's like almost like an opaque tag right here that says lead fills form content challenge. That means whenever a content challenge form is filled out, this sequence is triggered. Um, so it basically it's telling telling the sequence to send to start sending emails out to anyone that opts in to the challenge on the form. Okay, then all you'd have to do is click save and then you'd see this little blue um, form icon right here. So that's the starting rule. And again, you can create numerous different starting rules from this particular, um, just this screen right here. You can start a sequence based off of a tag, um, based off of a list when someone joins an email list, based off an order, if some, someone orders something from you. You can create an email sequence based on someone visiting a page, which is kind of insane. And then again, you can create a sequence based off of someone being in another sequence and being at a certain step. There's so many things you can do. Um, and then obviously the last option is an automation. So that means, oh, it can mean so many things, but say it's just based off an action that someone does on a particular page or they haven't signed up for a particular product yet. Maybe they're gonna get a certain reminder sequence. I don't know, the, <laughs> the details and things you can do with this is pretty much endless, endless. Okay, so the first thing I did is um, I create all of my emails from a working document, so like a Google Doc, so I have that here on this other tab, and basically just copy and pasted everything into the email, but I'll show you the steps that I did first to create this first email. And then essentially when you create that, you can just like click copy or clone in the Kartra world, everything is clone. Okay, so before you do anything, you do want to drag over a send email bucket or drop down, whatever you wanna call it. And it will look like this. So this is how I created the welcome email. Um, and then basically, I wanted the welcome email to send right after the previous step, so I just kept that the same. I click next. Really any day, any time, it doesn't matter to me that the email's gonna be sent. It's basically just, if they're gonna get the welcome email right after they opt in. Okay, the name of the broadcast, I simply just put welcome email. Gateway, it's my Kartra mail. That's already set up. Um, and then we're sending this if anyone reaches a step, okay? 
you're going to add that there. Then you're going to click next. I don't really typically do split tests for emails. You can if you want, um, but we're just going to send a particular one, like one single email. Click next. Then you're going to put in your subject line here. You can do a preview text here. Then you're going to copy and paste your email content. For me, I like to create a template. So all you have to do is toggle over to advanced, go to design templates, go to my templates, and then this is the master your content challenge little template I made. And then all I have to do from here is delete this and then copy and paste. And then from there, you just hit next. You have the option to create an automation, but you don't. And then you would just hit create. Okay, and then all I did was I dragged it over here. And then you would have to drag, oops, you have to drag this little, oh, why doesn't it not want to? Let's just activate this for now. It's only going to let you, basically, that's why it's not letting me drag this little arrow. It's only going to let you basically send one email right after the step. So all you would have to do is go like this. That means the like steps are connected. Um, but that wasn't the one. I already have an email. Welcome email. So I'm going to delete that. That was just for demo purposes. Okay, so all you have to do is connect the steps, activate it. So it will say inactive, but basically when it's activated, that means like it's gonna start sending emails. So just be prepared. <laughs> if you're not ready to start sending the emails yet, then I would either make it inactive, which you can deactivate here, or I would take off the starting rules until you're ready to start your email sequence. Okay, and then from here, since my challenge starts on this specific day, February 3rd, um, I'll show you exactly how I did that, but um, I am basically going to make the next challenge email, which is day two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clone this because this is pretty much like already set up for me, right? And what I like about Karcha too is that you can um, basically arrange horizontally or you can arrange it vertically. So this is vertically, this is horizontally. Depends how you like your email sequences, like planning them out. Okay, so I like to drag it over. What you're gonna do is hover over it. You're gonna click edit. So since my challenge starts on a certain day, um, it's actually a live challenge. That's why I'm picking a certain day What for the delay. So since I already picked the date, in the prior um, email and I just cloned everything, I'm just gonna edit the delay. I'm actually going to wait until Tuesday at nine because that's when day two is. So then you just go to edit. Wait. <laughs> then you're going to, um, I'm gonna change this to day two just so it's like very even and everything's clearly labeled on the back end of Kartra. Okay, anyone reaching this step. So that basically just means on February 4th, everyone that's reaching this step is gonna get this email. Basically everyone <laughs> is gonna get it on a specific date. So the email content, you would edit it from here. And then in my, so you could see it's already copied over my template since I cloned the entire email. I don't have to do all of the steps that I kind of just showed you before to start like I did with a welcome email. So all I would have to do is copy and paste the content for day two. So I'm going to go to my Google spreadsheet, or not spreadsheet, but <laughs> my Google Doc. And let's see, let's find, it's a long email. There's a lot of good content in here. What can I say? Okay, so master your content day two market research. That's our title. Okay.
Okay, and then this is already, see how it says first name with the brackets and underscore. This is in Kartra world, it's going to basically populate their first name in the email. And I'll show you where I've, where essentially all of those tips and tricks are. Ooh, it was a long one. They're basically under dynamic variables. So if you wanted to populate their um, first name, last name, email, whatever the information may be, all you'd have to do is copy this right here. But I already have it in my email sequence um, in the actual Word document because it just makes it easier. So paste that. Um, and the one thing I do not like about Kartra is that it defaults the text to font size 18 and Arial, unless you change it. I like 14. I think that looks good to me. If there, if you know a way <laughs> to make that not the default font size, I would love to know. Um, but yeah, basically, I just double check. I have I use Grammarly, the Chrome extension. So that just checks for mistakes. Um, but yeah, the first name with the brackets and the underscore, that's gonna populate their first name. I'm just gonna like make some of these bold. And then they have some homework that they have to do. I'm giving them some prompts and some scripts. They have action steps. Um, let's see. Amazing copy, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But if you do wanna put a link in, which, I think it copied all of day, um, day two. <laughs> Okay, so I like Grammarly. That's another little hack that I like. That is fine. Okay. I still had some of the day two content in there. Um, but for instance, this is gonna be a link to the Facebook group. So I'm just gonna copy that over, go to the link. Paste in the URL. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a couple spots. You can also make it bold to kind of stand out. That way they don't forget to join the group. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. Can't forget to put my name at the end. Okay, you can save this as a template as well. I don't really need to since any changes I'm gonna make, I'll probably have to do it manually. But this is all saved in a Google Doc as well. But from here, you would go to edit. And it's gonna bring you back to the main page or the main, all the like different details of the email. Send an email. Okay, so now we're back here, yay! Okay, so, we have the welcome email, we have day one email, now we have day two and it's set for the right day. So what we need to do is we need to activate it and then we just need to connect the dots or connect the emails. And that's it. And then you would hit done and exit. Ugh, done and exit. <laughs> okay, that's it. Any questions, please leave them in the comments below and be happy to answer them.